Check it out. We're entering a huge mass of phytoplankton. They're the plant-like plankton. And in the ocean, these creatures, tiny phytoplankton, so small most people don't even know they exist, are the base of the food web. Wow! On land, we have plants at the base of the food web. They're the primary producers making energy from the sun. While in the ocean, there's phytoplankton. They're also primary producers, and just like plants, they make energy from the sun. So plants and phytoplankton can make their own energy? That's right. These tiny creatures are the start of the largest food web in the world. Whoa, a copepod. It's devouring the phytoplankton. That is one weird alien looking dude. A copepod is a type of zooplankton. There are thousands of different kinds. That one, that one, and that one. They eat the phytoplankton. Aha, so in the food web of the ocean, Phytoplankton are eaten by zooplankton. It's like how on land, grass and plants are eaten by insects, or deer, or elephants, or monkeys. And in the ocean, it's thousands of species of zooplankton that are primary consumers. Wow! I didn't realize so much important stuff happens with such tiny little life forms in the ocean. Oh yeah, if plankton are like superheroes of the sea. All the life starts with them. Oh. And here's a special kind of plankton called krill. They're little shrimp-like creatures. Hey, they're heading down. Krill and other plankton like to head up to the surface of the water during the night and then head down a little deeper during the day. Because there are so many of these little plankton, it's the largest daily migration on Earth. And we're in the middle of it. There must be millions of them all moving together and uh-oh. Uh